numbers. So you have set A, which has all numbers between one and 20. That's a first set. And then we have a set B, which is the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 18, and 20. <clears throat> and so that what they're asking for is the number of A union B, so the number of A or B, and they want to know the number of A intersect B. <clears throat> so the two things we have to find out for this are A union B, So A union B is all the numbers in both sets. So in this case, since there are no numbers in B <coughs> that are not in A, A union B is A. So there are no numbers in B here that are not in A. So we know that the union of these two, since there's nothing added from B, will just be the numbers in A. And since there's numbers one to 20, oh wait, sorry, that's a set. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a set. So this is the set. in A. Oh, I'm sorry, that makes it a little bit more difficult. 2, 3, 9, 11, 14, 14, 16, 18, 19. There we go. I made an error. So what I want to do at this point, since I made that mistake, <clears throat> is I want to go through and see which ones are the same in both. So I'm gonna draw a little circle around ones that are in both. So one, uh, let's make sense that way. One, two, three. I don't have a four, I do have a nine. Don't have a 10, but I have an 11. I don't have a 13, but I do have a 14. <clears throat> I don't have a 15, but there's a 16. I don't have a 17, but there's an 18, and there's no 19 or 20. So all the ones I circled will be the ones that are in A union B. So one, two, three, nine, 11, 14, 16, and 18. The other thing we need to find to answer this, these questions is A intersect B. <clears throat> so this is all the numbers that are, it, are possible between both sets. So I have one, two, three, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. So all I'm doing is going through 19, 20 and finding each number in here and in here that appear once. Doesn't have to appear in both sets, but just one set. And then for the number of A union B, I just count these up. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the A number of A union B is eight. <clears throat> and for A intersect B, it's I count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that one, A intersect B is 15. And I hate to say this, 
I mix these up. I always do this. So ignore what I just did because I mix these up. A union B, I'm sorry, and this is where my dyslexia kicks in, is the numbers that are in both sets. A intersect B or A and B is the numbers that are in both sets combined. So these numbers are backwards. This is one of the reasons that I usually have like a little cheat sheet. So like I would do something like n equals either u equals both. I'll do something like that <clears throat> so that when I mess up like I normally do, like I just did then, um, uh, then I'll go ahead and just say, hey, I have that cheat sheet. I use it and it helps me get it. So, and this one was number six, by the way. So save. So that is number six. The other question was 14. Okay. This one is about people, uh, social media. So we have um, survey asks, which online service have you used in the last month? Twitter, Facebook, or both? So we're going to have, uh, let's see, 23% use Twitter. Eighty percent use Facebook, and then thirteen percent used both. <clears throat> so they want to know how many people didn't use either. They say neither Twitter nor Facebook. So what we have to do for this is let me draw some stuff. as we're drawing some circles. So we have what, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and then the middle is both, and the outside here is neither. So we had 13% in the middle. So we can put that right there. So we had 23% used Twitter, and that includes that 13. So what we do is we subtract 23 or 13 from 23. which gives us 10%. So we have 10% of the people who just use Twitter here. <clears throat> uh, we had 80 use Facebook and 13% use both. So we do the same thing where we subtract 80 minus 13 to get 67. So I would put a 67 right here. So what I can do from here to find the ones who use neither, subtract all numbers from 100. So I do 100 minus 67 minus 13 minus 10, which gives us a uh, calculator. Ten percent. So ten percent don't use Facebook or Twitter, and that's kind of how you do those. You you have to essentially draw out the the diagram here. <clears throat> Easiest way to do it 
uh, usually you want to fill in the middle part first because that makes life easier. So you have that 13%. And then you take the people who use Facebook and Twitter and subtract them from the ones that have both. Uh, whenever you do that, you can calculate just Facebook and just Twitter. And then from that, you can find out who use everything. Does that one make sense? Even though those are more complicated, I find those easier. This was 14. Do B14. Uh, other questions? I'm looking to see if there's any, you know. If not, I'm probably going to do a question from um, the actual assignment. And if somebody has a specific question. Because they have the one of these guys. Because <clears throat> we didn't really go over these, so stepping tool. Let me clear this. Uh, let's see if I could paste. Of course not. Okay, so we're going to have, this is going to be same as number 16 uh, on homework. So you have three circles. Here. And you will have the box, even though they don't write the box, the box is there. And this is uh, they're taking math, history, and science. So they like put, if you had to take like a, a GRE test or something like that, they love putting these on things. And I don't know why. Like they're obsessed with them. So we had. Two here, a six here, 18 here, 13 here, 12, 15, 10. So this is, oh yeah, and then you have a 14 out here. And they want to know, <clears throat> How many are taking math? How many taking science and history? And how many taking math and science, but not history? So this is the this is a uh, three circle uh, Venn diagram. So just doing the math itself, we will want to highlight or to take to count up the number any of the numbers that are within math itself. So it would be these four numbers. So you take those numbers and you add them up, and that will be your first part. So you have twelve plus six plus two plus eighteen, so thirty eight. So we would have 38 students taking math. The one where they want to know how many are taking <coughs> science and history would be when you use essentially anything here. 
or science, sorry, science and history would be anything in here because you have history and you have science. So whenever you wanna know how many people have taken science and history, you're looking at this overlap between these two here. So, so 13 plus two is 15. So we have 15 students who are taking science and history. The last one asks, uh, how many students are taking math and science, but not history? So that one, math and science, but not history. So the only one that we care about not adding is this one right here. This is people who are taking history, math, and science. These numbers are the only ones who are taking math and science, but not history. So it should be 18. So we have 18 students who are not taking them. So we have to make sure we don't add in the middle part of that one. <clears throat> So that's how you do a basic Venn diagram. Uh, so though that one is more or less easy-ish. So this was number um, 16. So a more complicated one, of course, would be something where you have, this is number 19. Uh, I used to do these, I both love and hate these. So we would have 2,440 students surveyed and you had one, two, three, five, take dance, 1241, take English, 1,065, take psychology, 581, take dance and English, 513, uh, take psychology and English, and you had 244, sorry, 564, take dance and psychology, P-S-Y-C-H-O-L-O-G-Y, and then you had 244 take all three. So you get a whole bunch of information and then you had to put everything into the circles. So how you do that, draw out some stuff. No, let's put big square first, Two big square. Circles, I think I have to go yell at my dog real quick. Oh, no, good girl. She'll get a treat later. She wasn't on the bed. Draw three circles overlapping. Do that like that. So you will have a total of 2,440 students. And that's important to remember. So we start putting in some basic information. <clears throat> and the it, this is going to sound weird. When you do these, uh, the best way I've found to do these, uh, work uh, bottom to top. Do not take and start putting in the 1235 into how many people take dance because that's not how many people um, will necessarily take dance. That's how many people take dance along with all the other subjects. So you have to make sure that you take and subtract some specific things. So that's why I always say start from the bottom. Um, so you always want to put in this one first. So you want to put that 244 in the middle. And the reason why is if I take dance and psychology, so we're gonna put uh, the names, I guess, dance 
psychology, and English. So the reason that you do the all three at first is if you take dance and psychology, 244 of those students who are taking dance and psychology are also taking English. So you need to make sure that you account for the people who are taking both. And the easiest way to do that is to actually physically put it into the circle here, <clears throat> the circle so that you can account for everything. So if I have 564, take dance and psychology. So in here, I wanna take 564 minus 244 to give myself 320. So there'll be 320 people who take both. Well, only take both. And that's the important thing. Um, and that's essentially how you do these. So I have 320 people who take dance and psychology. Um, I take uh, the 513 that take psychology and English. Psychology, English. Do the same thing. So I have 513. minus 244, which would give me 13 minus 244, 269 people who take psychology and English, 269. Uh, then I do the same thing with English and dance. So I have 581. And then I subtract 244. So 581 minus 244 is 337. So that gets me do <clears throat> all these little intersections. And then what I could do is I could take dance. So that 1235. And then I could subtract 320 here, 244 and 337, and that would give me the remainder of people who are just taking dance and nothing else. So 320 minus 244 minus 337. So 335 minus 320 minus 244 minus 337. So that's 334 people who are just taking dance. And then I can do the same thing with psychology. Uh, 1065 minus 320 minus 244 minus 269 to get 232. And then with English, I would get 1241 minus 337 minus 244 minus 269 or 391. So those are all but one of my numbers. I still have to figure out why well, my dog did that. But besides that, I had to figure out what the number is out here. How many from that 2,440 did I not use? Because there's gonna be some people surveyed who didn't take those classes. So I'm gonna to have to do, uh, 2,440 minus 334 minus 320 minus 244 minus 337 minus 391 minus 269 minus 232. 3, So on these things, I would recommend counting how many numbers you have listed up when you write them out so that you don't miss one because you can easily miss one. 4 minus 320 minus 244 minus 237 minus 391 minus 269 minus 232 to have a grand total of 313 people who didn't take any of those classes. 
And that is probably one of the most annoying questions that you would have on your homework. And my dog wants to go outside, so I'll be right back. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Hey, no. Come on. Come on, Sorry about that. Um, so that's how you do that. And like I said, that was one of the more annoying questions. Um, anyone else have something else they want to go over or no? Let me pause while we wait. So I have not actually done this before. Um, but I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to try to actually do why did it do that? I hate it when it does that. Um, the this in Excel instead of um, doing it as a just a general problem because I found the best way to not make errors is to have the computer do it for you. 287, 261, 178, 153, 168. 9727. So I want to know uh, size and brand no color, size and color no brand, color and brand no size. Because those are the real things that I end up calculating because everything else is done. So what I could do is take, I have size and brand. Right here, and then I can subtract the 97, the all three, size and color, 153 minus the 97 here, color and brand, and minus the 97. And then three quick things, I have all my numbers. So when if I wanna know um, color and size, not brand, or oh, if I wanna do I could I put up here size total brand total color total because I had to figure out just size, just brand, and just color. So the just size is going to be your size total minus your size and brand minus your size and color minus all three. My just brand is my just brand total minus my size and brand and color and band and all three. My just color is a just co uh, the color total minus uh, size and color and color and brand and all three. So you can see I still got the same results. And then when it asked me for uh, how many buyers were influenced by color and size, but not brand? I can go in and <clears throat> say color and size. So I have color and size. So I'd have color and size, no brand, no brand. So I'd have just color. Say so I have, sorry, uh, color, size and color, no band. No brand right there. I actually have that already answered. So one of the questions is already answered. How many buyers were not influenced by color? Well, I just take everything from uh, essentially here. These are the numbers that you can actually use to calculate answers. These are all stuff that yeah, you have to use to, to derive. So I'm just gonna highlight those. So uh, no color. So, 27 doesn't have color. Um, 
size and brand doesn't have color, just size doesn't have color, and just brand doesn't have color. There's all my stuff. <clears throat> and then all three would be all surveyed is just the sum of all these values right here. And that gives you all the total. So a little bit of basic work. And then if I go into another problem, for instance, I could do 133 walk, 121, 20, 143, walk and use a bus, walk and bus. So that was color brand. Nine, walk and ride a bicycle. So you could just re redo these as uh, different things. And then as you go through and change them, change the numbers, it will go through. Um, any questions on that? <clears throat>